here is what you need to do to complete your assigned reading for Astronomy 100. First, check the syllabus on what chapters of the book are required for each topic module. Next, check the posted study guide for each module for specific topics and readings. In some cases, the instructor will tell you to focus on certain sections while still encouraging you to read sections that are optional. Next, in Canvas, navigate to Pearson eText posted under Astronomy 100 links. The loading of the page may take a few seconds. Pull down the menu in the upper left corner for further navigation. You can scroll down to the relevant chapter from the reading. In this example, I will use chapter 5. Some students might find it useful to first check summary of key concepts at the end of the chapter. These are a reiteration of the key concepts that can help guide your reading. Clicking on a hyperlink will take you to the relevant part of the chapter to read. Make good use of figures as astronomy is a very visual science. Take note of where in the reading the figure is cited so that you can read the text to explain the figure. Science is about learning from questions, so if you see a question, make sure to note it and be able to answer it. On your exams, you will have to answer questions. There are summary figures that you should spend a lot more time on and connect it back to your reading, your notes, and the questions.
you can navigate the textbook by ch chapters and sections. Do not ignore misconceptions. A significant part of your learning will be to identify misconceptions. You need to understand what is true and why it is true, what is false and why it is false to be able to perform well on assignments and exams. It is to your benefit that at the end of your reading, you test yourself with questions from the end of the chapter. This will help you better prepare for exam questions. Of course, don't forget to complete your homework as it is likely to be closer to the exam questions. In addition to the text, Make sure to check out the study area from Mastering Astronomy. Again, this may take a few seconds. You can check out the interactive figures from each chapter by selecting from the pull down menu. You can also select from interactive figures and most importantly from self-guided tutorials. When you select a self-guided tutorials it is to start with an introduction that you should read and take note of and then click through some questions taking note of every slide in a much slower pace than I am demonstrating right now. Some of the slides may be interactive. But again, Keep note of what the tutorial is telling you is happening. Again, you can test yourself in preparation for your homework and the exams by quizzes on the chapter provided by Mastering Astronomy.
How much time do you have to spend reading and studying from the tutorials? In a 14 to 16 week semester, where the textbook has 24 chapters, you really need to pace yourself. Your instructor will not assign all of the pages, so you need to be aware of what are the sections assigned. Some topics may have multiple chapters in the span of only two weeks of time. But on average for this class, expect to complete about 30 pages of textbook reading and the associated tutorials per week. Depending on your pace of reading, and your note taking in class, this will likely be on the order of about six hours of reading and comprehending outside of class. You are always welcome to seek outside sources, but be sure that the information is reliable. If you want to supplement your astronomy learning with some more fun, please check out StarTalk from Neil deGrasse Tyson.